Ja tam nożyć. These men are training just outside Kyiv. In the next few days, they're going to go to the east, to the front line. Most of them are Chechens, and they say that they have their own score to settle with Russia because of the war that was fought in their country. The men are fighting for Ukraine, but they come from Chechnya, the region in southern Russia. 20 years ago, Chechnya was also a byword for Russian destruction. After the Soviet Union collapsed, Russia fought two wars to keep Chechnya under Moscow's control. The Kremlin devastated the region. It's estimated 50,000 to as many as 300,000 civilians were killed. Now in Ukraine, dozens of Chechens have formed two volunteer brigades to help Ukraine drive back the Kremlin's forces. We visit their base in Kyiv. This is uh, from uh, Russian uh, special forces. That they left uh, this in Izum. His call name was Dan. Dan. <laughs> but Dan want to take you, uh, Kiev in three days, but don't have this chance. This fighter goes by the call sign MAGA. He says he's one of around 50 Chechens in his group. What uh, uh, is uh, happening in uh, Ukraine now? It's uh, the same thing that happened to Chechnya. And all this occupation, all these massive graves, all this uh, genocide of uh, civilians. MAGA and his comrades have been fighting since the first days of the war. These videos show them under shell fire outside Kyiv. Since then, they've fought in most of the key battles of the war, helping liberate the Kharkiv region last fall. Do you dream of being able to go to Chechnya? Of course, our objective is uh, to lib uh, liberate uh, Ukraine and after to li liberate uh, Chechnya. This is the man they would like to overthrow, Ramzan Kadyrov, Chechen's Kremlin-appointed leader who revels in presenting himself as a violent strongman. Kadyrov was chosen by Putin to rule Chechnya after the war, stamping out resistance to Moscow and ruling with an iron fist. Kadyrov has sent thousands of troops into Ukraine to fight for Russia. MAGA calls Kadyrov's forces traitors. Slaves of the uh, uh, Russian Tsar. Kadyrov is accused of kidnapping, torturing and murdering his critics. That's the reason MAGA and the others hide their faces. It's a Ukrainian flag, it's a Chechen flag, uh, and it's a Crimean Tatar flag. Why do you see these flags united? Because it's a territory that need to be uh, liberated. The Chechens have been joined by another group, Crimean Tatars, a Muslim minority that Russia has persecuted since it seized Crimea in 2014. After Russia's takeover, Tatars have faced a wave of arrests, as well as incidents of torture. This fighter, who wants to remain anonymous, left Crimea after 2014. Ukraine's unexpected success in the war has given rise to talk that was unthinkable before the invasion. That Ukraine will try to take back Crimea. Last year's attacks on the Crimean bridge linking Russia to the peninsula has fueled those hopes. In your view, do you think it's possible for Ukraine to retake Crimea? It's a question of time. When you say it's a question of time, do you mean, is it this year or is it years to come? The Crimean fighters, like the Chechens, hoping the war will bring them closer to going home. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.